Hello there, it's Simone. I'm so glad you're here today with me for a swatching inks with friends session or swatches with friends. I don't even remember what I call this series. It's been such a long time that I have uh, shared one. I received some happy mail from Sarah from Paws with a pen. She is Australian and she sent this happy mail to me as a thank you for allowing her to organize an Australian ink swap, which was awesome. But I encourage you, if you're in a country somewhere else and you would like to organize one, this is not something that's mine. Um, go ahead and organize one. It's so much fun to do. And it's a lot of, it's getting to know the people that are close to you and maybe getting some pen pals or even local friends that you can meet up with occasionally. So um, she sent me seven samples, which works perfectly with my setup. And I'm just going to swatch them all out. And then at the end, I'm going to compare them to swatches I have made previously, inks that I have in my stash already. Um, I am using a Tomoe River notebook with 52 GSM. This one that you see here is from Penguin Paper Co. Um, it originally was a, um, a five notebook, but I cut it down to standard size because I prefer that size currently. And then I'm also swatching on um, swatch cards that are made from um, mixed media paper. I started making them myself sometime this spring. Um, I decided to not use the coloring cards anymore, but those, if you do not want to make your own, are a really great option as well. Um, I'm using them horizontally now instead of vertically, and so having a hole punched into them on the side just doesn't really, is not necessary for me anymore. And so that's why I am uh, I decided to make them myself. I have a silhouette cutting machine. I mean, I could even do this by hand with scissors and maybe a corner rounder if I wanted the corners rounded. It, it, it doesn't have to be too professional all the time. Uh, the first ink that I'm swatching is Ancient Song Magpie on a Branch. It's a purple ink with gold shimmer. And um, I have never heard of the brand ancient song and maybe I should have researched before I started the voiceover but I didn't so if you want to find out more about them and where they're from then uh, I encourage you to use google I I think what I'm going to do is just put a little uh, link in the description box what about whatever I find uh, about them I didn't I didn't even think uh, to research the company. Let me just write that down because that's going to be out of my mind in no in no time. Um, what else am I using? So I'm using cotton swabs to make these swatches. Um, there's various different ways you can do that. I have got a lot of them and decided that I will use all of them up um, before I reconsider the way that I am doing these swatches. And then I'm also using um, a Kakimori brass nib with a Tachikawa plus acrylic nib holder that I got from Vaness. I purposely decided against a wooden holder because I um, like to put this nib holder into water and uh, I just don't want to risk wood uh, getting too wet and soaking up and deforming basically for me. And so this is a good option for me. It's also super cheap. Um, the second ink that I swatched is Ancient Song by, again, Incense. It's a light teal color, also with gold shimmer. Um, and then the next one that I'm swatching right now that you can see me uh, working on is Robert Oster Purple Hippo. And I was a bit confused because this clearly is not purple to me. It's more of a reddish brown, brownish red. Um, 
there is some slight hints of purple um, pooling where the application is really heavy, but it does not appear as a purple to me at all. Um, the way that I'm swatching the inks is I'm trying to be very consistent with this so that I can compare these. Uh, I usually apply one um, on the cards, I apply one layer of ink and then I apply a second layer uh, on the top half of the swatch so that I can see the base color, but also I can see what it looks like if there is a, a big ink um, application. Uh, and then I also add a strip of ink around the edge so that I can see them better when I have them in my uh, index card holder or swatch card holder, which is just a cardboard box that uh, happened to be the perfect size for this for these cards. Um, I did not purchase anything. That was something that was really important for me when I switched this up from a from keeping the cards on a ring. I did not want to spend any money on it because I didn't know if that was going to work for me. And also I, I, I really want to use what I have at home instead of going out and just buying all the things all the time. The next ink is a really lovely multi-shading ink, I think. Maybe it's just because when it's done in heavy applications, I, I really need to get some of those inks into pens. It's another Robert Oster ink and it's The Great Owl. Um, I'm really drawn to purple inks. Maybe that's influenced by Manda. Hi Amanda, if you're watching, but I'm like, there is so many different types of purple inks and they're so interesting to explore. So that's what I like doing. Oh, I did not see that the swatch card for the Great Owl over on the left there um, was so magenta-y. That is the first time that I noticed this. All right, so then she also sent along some really tiny samples. The first one that I'm going to use here is Birmingham Penco Banana Slug. That's definitely a color that is not for me. It's too light and it's too not really determinable what color it actually is, in my opinion. It on this swatch that you see me making here, it looks I can't even say salmony. No, that's too dark for a salmon. It's not it, it, like it, it looks like a sick salmon. Um, pinkish hues with yellow undertones, browns, maybe, but it dries very light brown uh, with some orangey hues on top. And I know now that this is an ink that I might like to use for art, but then what kind of art am I going to make with this color? And also that I probably would not enjoy in a fountain pen. I really gravitate towards saturated colors in fountain pens. They don't have to be all uh, dark blues or greens. Um, <clears throat> there's also heavily saturated yellows and oranges and all that, but, uh, and pinks, but these light, light shades, just don't really work for me. I, I'm always fr left frustrated. And so uh, I'm trying to... The game that I'm basically playing is figuring out how saturated an ink has to be for me to feel satisfied with using the ink. Then the next one is Pen BBS Strawberry Milkshake. And that is a magenta -y pu purple maybe? Maybe it's a pink, maybe it's a magenta. Um, it's lovely. And it was really fun to try all of these different fountain pen brands that I have never heard of before. I think Pen BBS is a brand that you can get through Amazon, at least that's where I found it. I haven't really, again, I haven't really looked for all of those um, inks to purchase them because you know, I have so many samples. I just, um, what is that called? Documented them, added them all um, to a fountain pen companion, even the samples, 
previously I had just put in all the inks that I had used in Currently Inks. Um, but I'm going to stop talking about that right now because this is an ink that is a mystery ink. Um, so the story with this ink is that Sarah received this as a sample from someone who didn't remember what ink it is. And uh, she passed it along, kind of like a game for me to maybe guess what it could be. Um, and I decided that I would send along this ink to someone else. And maybe she decides to share that on uh, her YouTube channel. I made sure to send it along to a YouTuber um, so that we can play a little guessing game until the sample is, is used up. It's not... Um, a lot of capacity, um, but it would be really fun. My, ge my guess is definitely wrong. I compared the chromatographies and I think I need to remember to add that here. Um, so I just compared Ancient Song Magpie on a branch to other purples that I have in my stash. I am. It's interesting that I don't really have a lot of these colors, um, which makes sense because um, it was lots of fun. I, I really love swatching inks. It doesn't really matter what kind of ink it is, if I like the color or not, just the process of um, compare, uh, of swatching them brings me a lot of joy. But these colors were all on the border of my comfort zone for sure. So I would never really gravitate to picking them out myself. That's why you see that I do not have a lot of them uh, close by. And I try to find colors that are similar or that you would be able to compare to. Um, this Pennsylvania Fieldstone is nothing at all like Strawberry Milkshake. But again, I said before, I don't really have any colors that are similar to these. And so I just thought maybe by me sharing them with you, you would be able to see what I have. And then this is Buttered Popcorn for, by Ferris Wheel Press, so that's not it. It could be Helianthus, but I think it's too dark. Here I'm comparing it, so I, it might be the same, but it doesn't look the same on the swatch card. But then it's also not exactly the same paper, but I thought or felt like it looked very much like um, Van Diemen's Mandarin Duck Wing. Um, however, I did make a chromatography of both of those colors and they're nothing like, it, they don't even look close. This was the very first time that I felt sorry that I had given away a sample that didn't work for me because I would have loved to compare the chromat chromatographies. As you can clearly see, or not so clearly, the mystery ink has some orange pinkish hues that the honeybee eater chin doesn't. And none of the yellow inks that I have in my stash compared to that chromatography. And as you compare the swatches on the bottles, there this is the mystery ink is just a, a little darker. So let's look at the dried swatches in the notebook. Unfortunately, the shimmer, the gold shimmer, easily rubs off when I'm um, scrubbing my finger over it. You will see it in, in just a second. Um, that's a little bit um, something that I'm not really happy with, but I'm, I'm also really hesitant to right now to use shimmer inks. I'm not using them the way they're supposed to be used and so pens usually dry up on me and that just is such a frustrating experience. I am so happy that you were here with me today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Until then, bye!